Welcome to part 28. So, last episode, we ended it at the beginning of this fight. And this episode, we begin it at the beginning of this fight. So, I go into a bug bite really quick as Shevin's Vipard uses a fake up. One of the herder flinch and can't move, and the one that just hit you to take down on me, which is recoiled. So now, Lipar used to pursue on the light on the herder I just attacked, and I use poison pill on the herder Lipar just attacked. The right one uses take down and gets hit with the recoil, but. It doesn't need to worry because it has a citrus berry. And the other one uses take down as well. Which is not looking well on my part. My part. So, before Drake Worm gets hit with anything, I tell Drake Worm to come back and I send out Elder. My Tortuga. My part uses Pursuit on that Herdiger. And something about this battle, they're facing against Priest Holders. But you need to be 10 to become an official Pokemon Trainer. So, why do they have Pokemon if they have to be 10 to get their first one? That doesn't make sense to me. At all. So Sharon's side part fainted, but the harder it gets hit with recoil. And I avoided the takedown, and I used ancient power, which almost makes the harder faint. Now Sharon sends out his Pantage. So in this match, um... So in this match, Sharon uses... Hey, and it's not Sharon uses um a life hard pantage and pigment and aqua jet to the right hurt hardier should take care of it and it does elder levels up to level 31 elder wants to learn the move smackdown Smackdown is a rock physical move. He just throws a stone or, or projectile up to an to an opponent's attack. A flying Pokemon will force a common hit. I don't really see any point of teaching that. So I'm I actually I'll keep the old moves and give up on Smackdown. Because this is an ECW or Raw and Drake Worm is at level thirty. Pantage uses C, C bomb, which makes the other herder faint, and both my Pokemon get experience points. And now, what's this? Dracon is evolving. Oh yeah. So, the first, the second member of our team is the first one to get to its final stage. First, we had Venipede. Then we had Rollipede, now we have Skullipede. So yeah, I named it Drake Worm, because it's a giant worm. And I act as a tyrant, and dragons act as, act as tyrants. And now Drake Worm wants to learn Baton Pass. Which I say no to. I do not want to learn Baton Pass. Audrey says, nicely done, you didn't win, but that was a really good battle. Your Pokemon looks like they were having fun. Young man, if young man, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who are happy just being with Pokemon. There are many different people and many different answers. When it comes to a champion to what a champion should be, you and I may hold differing views. Let's roll the just Joe, your bitch is just ahead. And now, Shaman says that the champion is the strongest Pokemon, is the strongest trainer here in the Universe region. I did it 
I forgot that she was a train actually. So, I guess you guys get to see my Drake Worm in action. She sets up his pants here, which is bad on my part. But, I have a motherfucking Scolopede. Um, Scolopede's stats are actually pretty well. Its speed stat is actually higher than its HP stat, which is good. Um, it probably could take care of Pantsir with, um, with a poison cell, but I don't want to risk it, so. Because I know it's going to use Incinery or Flame Burst. No, actually, just Fury Stripes. So I actually can tell all, to Elder. Well, I just Elder and Elder very similar. I use Aqua Jet, no problem. One hit KO, Pansir has fainted. And now Pan Sage, which Drake Worm can take care of easily. And a poison pill takes care of Pan Sage, no problem. And now upon four, which Serpentine kind of finally gets some action in battle. Serpentine can take care of easily with a Mega Dream or just a simple Grass Knot or a little tornado, but probably with a Tackle. But still, you know, don't want to overdo it, so I'll use Deep Tornado. Takes up the Tackle and it's super effective. So I'll pin it in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She goes, mm, mm, that was a tasty battle. So, I actually meant to come in here. As you can see, there's a lady here. She's a maid, and she's looking for ingredients. If you have stuff in your bag that you can give her, she will always talk to you. Unfortunately, you can give her multiple items at the same time. But she does buy things. Certain stuff that you would sell at the Pokemon Mart, she will buy for double the price. There's also a man in Anchorage City who buys gems. He will buy a nugget for $10,000. Twice the amount a Pokemon will buy um, a nugget for. So yeah, places like this you can make easy money. She will, as long as you have an ingredient in your bag, she will go sniff, sniff, sniff. I smell something with, with a good aroma. If you don't have anything in your bag, in your bag that she wants, she'll go sniff, sniff, it proves you don't have anything that interests you. I think she takes the miracle seed, I'm not sure. Uh, no, she's not. So, you can give her, um, berries. I'll give her the, ya the yake berry, or yachi. She'll buy for 20. And that's it. There are a lot of trainers here, but I'm not going to face them in this episode. I, I'm, I will off screen the trainers here for experience points, but at the same time, I don't want to because I know that Elder is really close to evolving. Turn past all these trainers. And they're, they're actually waiting for you. And now, she's, and Elisa says, now we contact him. She says, draw the drawbridge. And, huh, if you look at it closely, it looks like a giant penis being lowered in between. See, it looks like two testicles, two ball sacks, and giant penis to connect. Which a lot of people don't realize about drawbridges. A lot of things are shaped like penises. If you really think about it. So now sharing goes on ahead, and there's something special about this bridge. 
not necessarily special. You can he says that it's okay, so I'll show you here. As you see there's a shadow over here. If we come here, we can either get wings or we can find a Pokemon called Ducklet, which oh. So you can get a health ring, a genius ring, a muscle ring, a swift ring, and a whole bunch of other different wings that are used for different also a clever ring that they're used for different stat improvements and stuff. I'm actually trying to show you the Pokemon Duck Rip. Muscle Wing. Another clever wing. Another muscle wing. Wait, actually, I think I've seen Duck there already. Haven't I? I I'm actually seeing my Pokedex at the moment. I've seen Doctor already, why am I doing this? You already know what it looks like. If you don't know what it looks like, you can go back in the videos to see. Sorry to get hostile a lot of us better. Oh wow, and now when I'm leaving, a Ducklet appears. So yeah, this is Ducklet. I think the max level you can find them here are level 30. They're water and flying types. Um... I don't want Draco to faint just yet. I mean, what? Just yet. I don't want Draco to faint at all. So, she talks about clay. Not claymation. Clay, the next town's gym leader. She talks about the cold storage. And hopefully I can leave in peace. Yes, okay. So, it's hilly. I'm saying here in the winter, it's actually really spring. But yeah, in the game it's winter. So she says that it's actually called the Charizard Bridge. Because it's big and red and like a penis. I guess Charizards are like penises. You can call them dicks. <laughs> I think I've actually heard someone call Charizard a dick before. Ash is Charizard. So, you come here, and here is the gym leader, Clay. I was talking to Sharon about Team Plasma. He's, he's a ground-type master. So, against ground, if you have a water, gra grass, ice, Oh, that's it. If you have a water, ground, um, grass, or ice type Pokemon, you can take the care of the gym easily. I you have a water and a grass type. So, I'm good. It's actually something you can get in one of these houses. I don't remember what it is, but I think it's good. I think it's got something good. Oh, yeah, if you come into this house, he, if you have, it, he will teach your Pokemon either Water Pledge, Fire Pledge, or Glass Pledge. Glass Pledge. They're meant to be used in triple battles, which I could show you. They're not necessarily at the moment because it will take too long, and I'd probably have to chain up my Pokemon. Over here, you can get a Head and Heart Scale. So yeah, that's it for this episode, this is part 28 I think.
Oh crap, I forgot where to put it. 